Shout out or whatever, but uh, this is where it's at. You know, Mall Street, whoever's from there, you know, you got your fat out, but you got your Mall Street, your Willow. But yeah. But you know, this is something I want to do. This is something I want to do in Houston. You know, but he hooking it up right here, though. Yeah, Cal, I want it to be known all over. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I want it to be known I, all I'll over. Tell you when I tell you somebody coming from coming from Houston on you all. Yeah. They looking for unlimited all the more. Yo, sure. man, I heard that's the guys are right there. Man, they can watch the shit out you go. <laughs> they good, man. I'm telling you, that's what we looking for. Yeah. Yeah, every time you get off that highway, you're going to be looking for unlimited all the more. Right here, there it so is. You can call me, whack me, tell me, however you want. However you want. Yeah, man. You know. You're not in the way for all the dropping off. Oh yeah, got him lined up. Look at him. Got him lined up. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video, I'm back home. In Louisiana at my old high school I just kind of this is where I used to play basketball my dad was a high school basketball coach and uh, this is where it went down man you know we used to have some good games I remember it's a lot of memories here I walk over here kind of shoot show on the inside uh -huh. I wish it was open, but it's not, but this is it, man. This same gym, but still the same. Everything's still the same. Like I said. A lot of people out here, man. A lot of people go another view on the inside of the gym. Like I said, I wish it was open. Give y'all guys a better view, view but you know, a couple of banners up, still up, or whatever. But y'all, you right here is where we would sit down, you know, and just hang out, you know, like uh, for like when doing lunchtime, and you know, because in high school ain't no recesses, but lunchtime to sit around. That's the little commons area, all oh, back right up in here. Football stadium. Try to get a little closer. Used to be some good games here too. I remember coming out here for basketball practice. My dad would have us running around the track, you know, for some endurance stuff like that but uh this is high school football stadium all right the next stop is um 
where I went to middle school. Um, I only went one year though. They did some rezoning and I did sixth grade over here. Um, this is N.J. Moss. I don't know if the name is still the same because I know they changed the name or whatever, but this is where I went to uh, middle school in the sixth grade, right here to the left. It's um, Clark Field, like uh, our high school. This is where we, it's like a city field, but we played, we played um, football here, practice here, right here in the football field. And I ran track, we ran track. So we was be between both sides. And like I said, I only came to the middle school here in the sixth grade. Domain Center. This is where I came during the summertime for summer um, camp. Right here, I get dropped off every day in the summertime and basketball gym and just have a good time. My brother was one of the counselors at the time, so every summer I would look forward to coming here and getting dropped off at uh, at the Domain Center. Okay, right here is a significant place for me. This is a uh, OJ Mouton pool. This is where I took swimming lessons from, I want to say, probably first grade all the way up to seventh grade. Like I said, every summer my mama always made sure that we was in some type of activities. We wasn't just sitting around the house. You know, they had video games coming up, but we had to do something constructive, you know, at the house, keep a normal routine, like it like was to go to school. And right here is where I took swimming lessons from like first, first grade, which I was about six all the way up to about probably 13. You know, OJ Mouton Pool, this is another significant memory for me. All right, now, another spot when I was growing up, this was the, this was the strip. You know, let's go to that simple sign. This is where it was, you know. And like I say, even the day is still, it's still a lot going on. You know, not a lot going on, but it's still a popular spot when you come to Lafayette. You know, you park right around, you park on the side of the road, right up in here. And of course, I know who is ever familiar with it, the famous Miami Moon. Flamingos, that's another club. Club Rhea, that's all, another club that wasn't here when I was here, but it's still a good spot. And of course, the, everybody know Miami Moon. This is still a hot spot on the weekends right here. I want to say Sunday's probably the best day, but this is Miami Moon. All right, uh, this is downtown Lafayette. Um, this is where it all happens at now. They got it set up, set up similar to maybe like a, I guess a little mini Bourbon Street or whatever. You know, it's not to that extreme, but you know, when I was a kid, downtown was more so like a ghost town. Now it's, you got all kind of eateries, uh, all kind of little coffee shops, clubs, um, all kind of little stuff. You know, that's really changed. And like I said, when I was here, 
downtown was just strictly downtown. It wasn't no type of entertainment. Oh, this cafe that was always there. A the little Mexican cuisine right here. See, all this is new. Yeah, Tula. That's a good taco spot. Just, yeah. This is Keller's Bakery. This is where I used to get all my birthday cakes. This was the one of the main places in Lafayette to get our birthday cakes. And if you look across the street over here, to your left, you got Borg's ice cream. Pretty much every Sunday, I'm not going to say every Sunday, but mostly every Sunday, this is where we came, you know, as a, as a family, with my mom and dad to get ice cream. And we sat in Barnes Ice Cream and got some ice cream. Now we're going more towards the direction of the UL, the Raging Cajuns. Um, for you guys who don't know, this is, that's the, the only college in Lafayette is UL Raging Cajuns. We'll pass by and count them. Show it to you. Okay, to your left is some of the college campus. I'm, that's the UL to the left right here. Like I said, at the Raging Cajuns. Good campus, good school. Okay, and if you look to the right right here, this is the one of the historical sites, landscape, land, landmarks. This was uh, the Black and Coliseum. This was, when I was growing up, this was like the, the dome. You played in the Black and Coliseum. You know, you, you were topped off. You know, but now, Right to your left is the indoor practice facility. That's all new. It wasn't here when I was growing up here. But that's the uh, practice facility for, um, I'm sure, the football team. And if you look more to your left over here, that's Cajun Field. That's where the UL, the college plays. That's their football stadium to the left, Cajun Field. From what I've been hearing, the football team been pretty good. And this is the new place. This is Cajun Dome. It's no longer the Black and Coliseum where the football team plays. They play right here at the, this is our, the Cajun Dome. They're all major concerts. NWA, you know how long ago that was, with the DOC right here at Cajun Field. I mean at, K at the Cajun Dome. Later. This right here is Fiery Crab. Good seafood. Come on inside. We'll, we'll show you what they got. Alright, this is inside the Fiery Crab. Where else that seafood?
thousand years later. All right, it's the next day. We parted all night. About to hit the road. But what I do every time before I hit the road, I have to get some boudin and some crackling. It's three stops on the way out that we can stop, but I, this is my favorite one, best stop. And um, I'm about to show you, we're about to pull up here in a second. One of the good places, if y'all want Buddha and Cracklin, stop here. Oh, my I-10 is on the Scott Kington exit. I'm gonna go to one more and I'll show you that one too. Second stop. Just one of the other spots if you ever come down Phillies. Not good food, we're going in there, we're gonna get some Cracklin. <laughs> 